powerful. That's a good question. In the meantime, gold going down again today. Yesterday it was up slightly, but it's off more than 17 percent so far this year. But our next guest is making a big call on gold, saying it's a good bet if you don't buy into Ben Bernanke's magic tricks. John Brown is senior economic consultant at Euro Pacific Capital, joining us now from Boynton Beach, Florida. Well, when's the inflation going to show up then? Well, the inflation, uh, Dagan, won't show up until what's happened with QE is that most people, including corporations, are storing it in bank deposits, roughly four trillion of bank deposits. That is part of the monetary base. That's not money supply. It's only when the banks start leveraging it up and lending it into the economy that it becomes money supply and therefore highly inflationary. So those people that expected uh, high inflation as a result of the massive QE when people were not going to spend it uh, on consumer items or building factories but were going to keep it in the bank were wrong to buy gold as a hedge against inflation. The people that were buying gold as an insurance against uh, a financial catastrophe, such as a currency crisis, were probably right in the long term. And of course, speculators got attracted into it when the price rose six and a half, seven and a half times in 11 years. Speculators came in. Now, the interesting thing about the speculators is they're traders, and they bought the paper gold, in other words, GLD, SLV for silver, and the ETFs whereas the long-term investors tended to buy bullion and uh, to a lesser extent but still in aggregate a huge amount of gold coins and the interesting thing is now that the speculators are moving from the gold market into the stock market fed by QE that they're shedding the, the paper gold the GLD and the ETFs and so that's driving that price down meanwhile you try to buy a gold coin and you'll find you're paying jolly nearly fifteen hundred an ounce uh... for for the gold coin so people are still holding on to their gold coins and most of the mints in the world